Due to positive feedback after our refrigerator safety seminar at the 2019 Tucson Escapade Rally, we are posting the content of the seminar for everyone to view. Out of the approximately 230 participants, there were 15 to 20 engineers ranging in discipline from aerospace to chemical engineering in the audience. We dedicate this presentation to the memory of our friend and mentor, Roger Beaujolais. He taught us that safety cannot be compromised. If you want safety and you want reliability and efficiency, you want the fridge to fin by ARP on your Dometic or Norcold RV refrigerator. We begin the seminar with a quote from Brett Wolf. Brett is the technical advisor for the Family Motor Coach Association. There are only two options for safe and reliable RV refrigerators. One is a residential type refrigerator. The second is an absorption type, which would be either a Dometic or Norcold brand refrigerator which has been equipped with the fridge to fin by ARP. We are going to start by comparing the two types of RV refrigerators. The residential refrigerator generally costs less to purchase initially. They usually have more storage space within the fridge. Residential refrigerators usually can be operated off level without damage. An advantage to the residential type fridge is that they do not have a reputation for burning down RVs. This is a big plus. One drawback to the residential fridge is that they usually vent into the RV. This can make the living space hot and make the air conditioner work overtime in hot weather. They are not designed for the rigors of travel. Generally, the cooling unit is made of copper tubing that is vulnerable to the vibration while driving. Residential refrigerators only run on electricity. They are great for going from plug to plug, but bad for boondocking or dry camping. Due to the electrical requirements, a generator or solar panels are needed to operate the residential fridge. Residential refrigerators are safe, but they can cost a lot to operate. Generators are not allowed at times, such as in national parks. Solar is dependent upon the sun shining. Cloudy weather can be a problem. Now let's talk about absorption type RV refrigerators, which would be either a Dometic or Norcold brand. The absorption type fridge solves most of the problems that the residential fridge has. Absorption refrigerators are silent. There is no compressor noise, which is great for one's nature experience. They vent outside the RV, keeping the inside of the RV cool in hot weather. The absorption fridge is built to take the rigors of travel. The cooling unit is steel and has 350 psi of pressure in it. More on this later. The major plus for the absorption fridge is that it can be run on LP gas for full-time boondocking. Dry camping is no issue. Now for the bad news. These refrigerators are the number two cause of RV fires according to Mac the Fire Guy. Absorption refrigerators cannot be run off level. During this presentation we demonstrated this fact using a Dometic cooling unit with real-time data presented on the screen. This seminar relies on quoted public documents found on the web. We often reference a document submitted to the EU by Dometic. Following quote fully supports the fridge to fin function regarding off-level use. Quote, if a cooling unit is tilted more than a few degrees, the pumping will cease. This will cause a higher boiler temperature that will increase the corrosion rate, unquote. This was evident by our demonstration of our controller on a Dometic cooling unit. The good news is that these two major issues can be addressed by the fridge defend. We will move on to show you how. The National Society of Professional Engineers Code of Ethics states that our number one responsibility is to hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public. To contrast this statement, we will return to the Dometic EU document. Quote, the whole unit, the refrigerator that is, operates by the heat applied to the boiler system and, for good operation, it is of paramount importance that this heat is kept within the necessary limits and is properly applied. Unquote. This is exactly what the fridge defend does. The truth is powerful and it does prevail. To return to the code of ethics. Our number three responsibility is to issue public statements only in an objective and truthful manner. That's what this seminar is about. We are going to give some definitions regarding fire safety and what a recall is. First, we want to thank the Escapees Graphics Department for their excellent work in supplying us with this photo of an RV fridge fire. 
This fire occurred around 2013 and is used with permission from the Norwalk Reflector News. Thank you. The first definition in order of priority is fire prevention. Fire prevention is a proactive method of reducing emergencies and the damage caused by fires. The second definition is fire suppression, which is the act of extinguishing or prevent the spread of fire after fire has started. The third priority after a fire starts is fire containment. Fire containment is a firefight suppression action which attempts to minimize damage to life and property while preventing the spread of the fire. Now we will define what a recall is according to the American Heritage Dictionary. A recall is a request by the manufacturer of a product that has been identified as defective to return it as for necessary repairs or adjustments. The recalls we discuss in this seminar are mostly for safety issues. It is important that we bring to your attention that the fridge to fin by ARP is not a recall. If a salesperson or RV technician tells you that the factory recalls do the same thing that the fridge to fin does, they're full of you know what. Here is why. The fridge to fin is a patented product. No manufacturer has purchased license for our product. Therefore, the function of the Fridge Defend is unique and only available through our distributors. The Fridge Defend is the only device that prevents overheating damage. The damage that has been described in recalls and other documents quoted in this seminar. Please note the period at the end of the last statement. We will move on to how the Fridge Defend works after looking at the recalls. The first recall document we will address is a patent filed by Dometic. To quote the abstract, the patent is, an ignition containment system is provided for absorption refrigeration systems. The system encloses the burner area to contain an inadvertent ignition of gases that may have escaped from the refrigerant tubing. Please note that this patent addresses the third fire definition we gave. That is, it is to contain fire rather than prevent the fire, such as the fridge defend. Also, you will note that Dometic addresses fluids escaping from the cooling unit tubing. More on this when we cover the next recall. During our seminar, we pointed to the quote, Thermal Fuse 230, unquote. Salespeople have been trying to say that this is the same as the fridge defend. As we demonstrated in our patent and during the seminar, this thermal fuse cannot perform the same function as the fridge defend by ARP. It is a retroactive component that only responds to extreme conditions outside the boiler housing, not in the critical area, the boiler. The next recall we are going to address is the infamous Norcold recall. Following is a letter sent from Norcold's attorney to our attorney. Norcold states, quote, Norcold's recall kit functions only to address extremely limited catastrophic conditions in which liquid is drained from the system that is, as a result of a leak. Heat input to the cooling unit is not adjusted until a sense temperature of over 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Such temperatures are only experienced at the location of the Norcold sensor if the cooling system experiences a leak." Unquote. Please note that the catastrophic conditions referenced are with respect to fires. Also note that similar to Dometic's recall, Norcold references fluids leaking from the system. This is when fires occur. Further, 800 degrees Fahrenheit is dangerously close to the cooling unit's yield point. Now that we have examined the factory recalls, let's see how the fridge to fend by ARP keeps the boiler from overheating and causing unsafe conditions. Hi, my name is Mark Nemeth. I'm the technical advisor for the Escapees RV Club. I've been helping RVers solve their technical problems for more than 20 years. I also write a column called the RV Gadget Box, where I test and review neat and useful RV gadgets. That's how I came to find out about the Fridge Defend by ARP. I had the opportunity to fully test this little gadget, and I was very impressed with what it does. Quite simply, it protects your RV fridge from the most common causes of failure. This video will demonstrate how the Fridge Defend by ARP protects your investment by keeping your RV fridge running like new. The Fridge Defend keeps your fridge boiler operating within safe limits, and there's no other device that can make this claim. 
If your RV has a Dometic or Norcold refrigerator, there will be an access panel on the side of the RV. Opening this panel will show the fridge cooling unit. You will see a boiler housing either on the left or right side of the compartment. This boiler housing is generally a sheet metal cylinder holding insulation with an electric heater coming out of the side and an LP gas burner assembly at the bottom. Let's remove the sheet metal boiler housing that holds the insulation and also the red flue tube. Now, all that's seen is the black boiler tube and the electric heater. Let's zoom in on the boiler process tube and the electric heater. The zoom is actually a cross section of the boiler to show what occurs inside the boiler. Starting from the outside of the boiler, black is the boiler process tube, blue is the rust prevention layer, and inside is a photo of an actual Dometic or Norcold boiler that has failed. Please note that there are black spots in the boiler photo. These spots are rust pits that ultimately cause the refrigerator to fail. Now we will remove the photo of the failed refrigerator in order to demonstrate how the heart of your fridge works. The boiler process. The orange fluid within the boiler is called the working fluid. This liquid is a mixture of water, ammonia, and the rust preventer. Keep an eye on the fridge defend boiler temperature gauge. We start the refrigeration process by turning one of the heaters on. The heat is then transferred into the center of the boiler tube where the pump assembly is located. Ammonia, which has a lower boiling point than water, begins to boil off and is represented as a purple gas. The purple ammonia gas is separated from the orange working fluid, leaving a yellow fluid that we call the weak solution. The temperature will continue to rise to the normal boiler temperature. When the boiler hits its normal temperature, the yellow weak solution liquid is being separated from the flow of orange working fluid. Within the center boiler pump, the purple ammonia gas fills the bell-shaped accumulator. Once the accumulator is filled, the purple ammonia gas overflows into the center percolator pump tube. The accumulator produces large bubbles of ammonia in order to start the fluids flowing in the system without producing excess heat. Notice that each ammonia gas bubble pushes a little weak solution liquid up the pump tube. The yellow weak solution liquid will drop down once it exits the pump tube, and the purple ammonia gas rises up to perform the refrigeration process. The heat source at the boiler drives the refrigeration process by distilling and separating the fluids. This also provides the pumping action. The fridge to fend will measure normal refrigeration temperatures if this process is working normally. Now that the normal refrigeration process is understood, we'll show you how the flow of fluids can be disrupted, leading to a lack of cooling within the fridge or possibly even failure of the fridge itself. If the ammonia is not returned to the strong solution in the boiler, then there is nothing to drive the bubble pump. There are many reasons why the ammonia may not return to the boiler. A partial list includes off-level operation, such as climbing long hills, or a stay at a rest area or store, or having a roadside emergency, such as a flat tire. High ambient temperatures or strong winds can prevent air circulation, you can have the failure of a heat source, and freezing temperatures can also cause this problem, just to mention a few. When the ammonia stops boiling, the temperature rises and the bubble pump stops. The fridge defend detects the no-flow condition by the rise in temperature, and it turns off the heat, thereby preventing the destructive chain reaction that leads to fridge damage. The fridge defend will restart the fridge when it is safe. Without the fridge defend, the temperature will rise until the water in the system begins to boil. The water boiling has two effects. One is that the steam increases the internal pressure of the cooling unit. The second effect is that the fluid next to the heater is reduced and this in turn concentrates the rust prevention chemical and causes it to precipitate out of solution. The rust prevention agent forms crystals, which changes the rust prevention agent so it can no longer protect the cooling unit from internal corrosion. The level of the light blue water is further reduced and the temperature reaches dangerous levels. The boiler warps due to high internal pressure combined with warping due to heat. This results in cracking and flaking of the dark blue rust preventative layer protecting the black boiler tube. Now let's zoom in on the boiler tube where rust pitting is promoted by the loss of the rust prevention agent in solution 
combined with the loss of the rust prevention layer. Rust pits form, which further weaken the cooling unit, and this is all due to runaway temperatures. Thus, the final blow is twofold. When the metal is stressed due to excessive heat and weakened by rust, the fridge is destined for failure. The fridge defend by ARP breaks the first link in the chain of destruction. If the water in the system is not allowed to boil, the fridge remains reliable due to preservation of the rust protection and low thermal stress. Can your fridge live without the fridge defend by ARP? Returning to the manufacturer's documentation, Dometic states, quote, the corrosion rate is increased when the boiler temperature is increased, unquote. Quote, for evaluation purposes, the most important parameter has been the boiler temperature, unquote. This is the exact parameter that the fridge defend uses. It seems the Dometic engineers say, quote, the refrigerator life length is in other words critical both for customer satisfaction and product safety, unquote. These quotes from the manufacturers are all supporting evidence that the fridge to fin is not only necessary, the fridge to fin should be required. Dometic and Norcold make great refrigerators. We are currently operating a Dometic refrigerator that is over 23 years old, but it has been protected by the fridge to fin. It is clear from Dometic statements that the absorption refrigerator is more reliable and safer when the boiler temperature is monitored and the refrigerator is protected from problems that can ruin your trip or worse. This monitoring and the protection from overheating is the sole function of the Fridge Defend by ARP. This is why all of the top RV technical advisors recommend the Fridge Defend by ARP. Mark Nemeth, Escapees RV Club, Brett Wolf, Family Motor Coach Association, Bill Gear, ABCs of RVs. We want to thank all the folks that attended this seminar. Your kind comments and support are very much appreciated. Returning to the Venn diagram, if you want safety, reliability, and efficiency, you want the Fridge Defend by ARP. Thank you.